Hi, this is Shaw with LoveToCode.com. Welcome back to another tutorial on Java JDBC. As you know, we're walking through a video series on building a swing GUI that connects to a database. Currently, we're at video 12.4, GUI Event Handling. So let's get started. In our application, when the user clicks the search button, the first thing we want to do is get the last name from the text field. Then with this information, we're going to call the DAO and get employees that match that last name. In the event that the last name is empty, then we'll call a different method, get all employees. Okay, so let's switch over to Eclipse and let's add some event handling. So let's move to this search button and we're going to add an event handler and the action will be action performed. So what Eclipse will do is it'll set us up a little stub for an action performed and this is where we'll actually add our code to do our real work. So here I just put in some comments. The first thing we're going to do is get the last name from the text field, call the DAO. If last name is empty, get all employees. And finally, we'll just print out the employees. And for now, we'll just print it out to the console using print line. We'll get into JTable in the follow-on video. Now what we need to do is add in a reference for the employee DAO because our GUI now needs to have a handle to this employee DAO to call methods on it. I'll also need to import some items. I'll need to import the employee DAO package, the employee class, and also additional Java util items. Now I'm moving to the constructor. And what I want to do is create an instance of the employee DAO inside of my GUI application. And then I also have a show message dialog that will print out any errors that occur if we have an exception during construction. Now I'm inside of my event handler again. I just drop in the code. I get the last name from the text field, create an empty employees list, check to see if the last name is empty. If not, then I'll actually call search employees. Else if the last name is empty, I call get all employees. And then what we do, just to keep it simple, is that we simply print things out using print line. And actually, before I can run this program, I have a uh, syntax error. I just need to fix this one and save it. All right, so I'll just run this as a Java application. It says that we connected to the database successfully. I will first, I'll just hit search without entering a last name. This will give me all of the results. Now what I want to do is enter a employee's last name here, Tom, T-H-O-M, and that should only give me one entry here for Susan Thomas. I'll try it again with another employee, Brown, hit search, and I should only get employee Brown. So we can see that this is working out just fine. Our swing GUI is connected to the database and we have event handling in place to search for employees. Good job. Okay, so this wraps up our section on GUI event handling. What we'll do now is we'll move forward to the next video, 12.5, and that's populating the GUI list grid, JTable. So please follow the links for the next video.